What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another Prize Picks MLB Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys two picks, get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks in the MLB tonight. Going to be giving you guys two picks from the later game, so you should have plenty of time to lock these picks in. Coming off a night last night where we went one and oh, uh, one oh and one, if you want to call it. We had a push, we had a play hit. So um, Cole Reagan's absolutely crushed for us. That's going to bump us up to a 14-4 run. We're heading at a 77.78% winning percentage. So if you've been tuning into these videos, should be profiting, should be making plenty of money locking in these picks within your tickets. If you do enjoy it, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out. I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all MLB season long. So yesterday... Like I said, 101. Williamson just wasn't as efficient as he should have been. He ended up pushing. That's not the end of the world. You know, we'll take that gray bar over the red bar any single day. Uh, but the pitch count just got a little too out of control for him, uh, which wasn't, you know, what we expected. He's been really in the zone lately. You got to give the Giants a little bit of credit. They did work him very well, making him throw a lot of pitches, battling, fouling off a lot of pitches. But um, he ended up right at that five mark. You know, I think if he could have kept that pitch count down, he would have cleared the prop as expected. But, um, Honestly, I think he had kind of one of the worst outings you could anticipate, all things considered, and he still pushed for us. So just kind of tells you how good the play was, in my opinion. But anyways, we fight on. Um, you know, if you were to run that in a two-man, you should have still profited a little bit of money. If you were to run that in another uh, five, six-man ticket or whatever the case may be, you're not looking at any reds. So looking to get back to the two greens, of course, in this one today, guys. If you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, you can use the promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 when you sign up today. And if you are getting very serious, you can get access to every single one of my picks for all sports, all apps that I cover, uh, every single one of my tickets as soon as I place them. If you get the VIP member package, we will have college football launching here before you know it. On uh, Saturday is going to be the big rollout for week one. I'm going to be producing content and getting the premium content um up and rolling gonna have some college football going so if you're interested in that check it out we'll have nfl soon as well um so if you want to wait to join till nfl i understand that i know a lot of people do that but anyways let's talk about it we'll go game by game as we always do break down uh two picks that i do like today and they tell you exactly why so uh the first game that i would like to discuss is going to be the New York Yankees taking on the Detroit Tigers. This game comes in with an 8 over under. The Yankees have a 4.91 implied run total on the road, and they get to take on Joey Wentz. And uh, I do have some interest in targeting Mr. Wentz tonight because he has been less than stellar. Over the last 30 days, he's only got an 18.5% K rate to righties, only a 3.7 walk rate, so he's been coming in the zone. But the problem is he's given up a 346 ISO, 454 Woba, only a 23.8 ground ball percentage. He's been getting absolutely crushed from the right-handed side of the plate. As he has all year long, honestly. So um, that's going to be a problem for him taking on the big bat Aaron Judge in this order who's rocking. His ISO is so good that this data set is glitching, um, by the way. It's over 1,000 ISO over the last 16 at-bats uh, versus left-handed pitching. I'm 929 Woba. This dude's been crushing um, left-handed pitching. Just I mean, over the season, you're looking at a 478 ISO, 468 Woba. 31.5% K rate, so that's going to be his weakness. You know, the K rate for Judge. Uh, but like I said, last 16 at-bats, he hasn't struck out once. Been absolutely dialed in. And we talked about it. Joey Wentz's strikeout rate really isn't high as of late. Only an 18.5% K rate. You look at the Detroit Tigers bullpen also. Um, less than stellar. Detroit coming in here at number 17 with a 4.34 XFIP. And then you factor in the weather today. Uh, you know, we're looking at 67 degrees, which is a little bit less than ideal. We'd prefer for it to be a little bit warmer for the ball to carry. But 8 mile an hour winds blowing out the straightaway center for Aaron Judge, who really doesn't need much help as is to hit the ball out of the ballpark. Um... Guy can hit the ball out of any ballpark. We know unlimited power Aaron Judge has. Expected to hit in that two spot. They're on the road, so he's going to get the guaranteed top of the ninth inning at bat no matter what. That's something I always like to bring up. And uh, I do expect him to absolutely crush in this matchup. Wind blowing out. Joey Wentz has been bad. 4.91 implied run total. Um, Judge, like I said, numbers off the chart. These numbers have been so good power-wise versus lefties that this data set's pushing to a red and it should be green. Um uh, that's all I got to say, man. Dude's dialed versus lefties. I uh, love the matchup today for Aaron Judge. Um, got to target this matchup for him for sure. Hitter fantasy score coming in at 8.5. You can see he's hit this in one of the last five without one being against Detroit where he did go out of the ballpark 20. Um, don't let the last five discourage you off him. Last spot that I was really high on him on this video, he crushed for us and hit three home runs. That was in a spot versus a weak lefty and Patrick Corbin in Washington with a bad bullpen. Uh, we're looking at a very similar spot here in this one for Aaron Judge. So um, last five, I don't care. Every single matchup's different. I will talk about that over and over on this channel, but it's so true. 
Um, you know, he could have been facing the top five pitchers in the league the last five for all we know, just as an example. But um, got to love this matchup. Joey Wentz, Detroit Tigers bullpen. They're on the road. They have a pretty good implied run total. That means this Yankees lineup should be moving. And uh, Aaron Judge versus those lefties, most notably lately, just really, really dialed in versus left-handed pitching. So that's going to be pick number one here. Going with the over 8.5 hitter fantasy score here for Aaron Judge for pick number one. And then pick number two, uh, I'm going to talk about another guy that you might have heard of before. Fantastic talent in the MLB. Arguably um, the best talent in the MLB right now. Guy's been at the top of this Braves lineup. That's just probably the best offense. Uh, in my opinion, the best offense by far. It's not even close. The Braves, they have an 8.28 implied run total. That is ridiculous. It's going to be in course field tonight. 11 mile an hour winds blowing out the straightaway center. 86 degree weather. And they get to take on Kyle Freeland, um, who has been less than stellar to say the least himself this year. Um, we'll look at the data here over the last 30 days for Freeland. He's given up a 310 ISO, 434 well, but to the right. He's only a 3.3% walk rate and only a 16.3% K rate. That is going to be a massive issue for him in course field, which is the best hitting environment in baseball. Pulling up course field as far as how it does play two hitting across the board. You can see green, 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 green going on. Great for home runs. Great for triples. Great for doubles. Great for singles. The elevation in Colorado makes the ball carry even further. And when it's warm with no rain, we know the weather can be a bit crazy in Colorado at times, but... Um, I mean, we're talking ridiculously good hitting weather tonight in Colorado. 86 degrees, 11 mile winds blowing out. We're talking about a guy that's going to be at the top of the lineup for this Atlanta Braves squad that's expected to put 8.28. And we're talking about a guy that's setting records as far as stolen bases are concerned. 61 stolen bases on the season. This guy is literally a prize picks hitter fantasy score cheat code. Uh, I know a lot of people liked him last night and he let us down. His numbers over the last 30 days, I got to say, are less than impressive, especially in the power department. I don't know what's going on. He's only rocking a 0.42 ISO versus lefties. The, pa the contact is still there, though. 378 Woba, 17% K rate. And you look at his numbers on the season, um, a 200 ISO. So um, lately he hasn't been getting the job done in the power category, but he still isn't striking out. He's still putting the ball in play. Talked about course Field. It's the best hitting environment in baseball. ton of room in the gap. Uh, huge outfield. Uh, I mean, if he just knocks a single... Like I said, the stolen up base upside for this guy is ridiculous. That's going to be five fantasy points for you as far as the prize picks fantasy scoring format is concerned. And uh, with him being in the number one spot on the road with his team having an 8.28 implied run total, we're talking about a possibility for like, not exaggerating, six, seven at-bats. Um, so Ronald Lacuna is in a, a dream spot here. Um, Got to promote the play. Talked about the stolen base upside for him. For those of you that aren't familiar with the scoring format over here on Prize Picks and the hitter fantasy score, you get three for every single, five for every double, eight for every triple, ten for home runs, two for every run, two for every RBI, two for base on balls, two for hit by pitch, five for those stolen bases. So even if he gets walked, that's going to be two fantasy points, and then he steals a base, that's seven fantasy points automatically. You're looking at just another pretty much base hit, and he's going to clear his uh, hitter fantasy score on this one. And like I said, I would anticipate this guy's going to get up to the plate a lot of times tonight. Has only cleared this in one of the last five. Same as we talked about with Aaron Judge. I simply don't care. The talent's there. The stolen base upside's there. We're talking about an 8.28 implied run total for his team. Um, and one thing I didn't even mention is how bad this Colorado Rockies bullpen is. Um, Colorado is the third worst bullpen in the entire MLB right now. Uh, 4.73 XFIP. So, um, Ronald Acuna in a dream spot here tonight. Got to promote the play. Stolen base upside. He's got power. The power's been down a little bit as of late, but the contact's still there. Not striking out. Best hitting environment in baseball. The hitting weather is ridiculously good. Bad bullpen. Bad starter versus right-handed hitting. Um, if he lets us down tonight in this spot, let's put it this way. I'm going to go to bed, sleep just fine, knowing I've targeted the right spot. I just don't see him not getting there tonight. Um... Got to promote the play here for pick number two. Going with the over 11.5 hitter fantasy score here for Ronald Acuna Jr. And that will be my two picks to get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks in the MLB tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Once again, the premium content will be linked below in the description. I'm also pinning that at the top comment. If you're looking to get access to every single one of my picks, all my tickets as soon as I place them, uh, I do have these two picks within my tickets. But I do correlate them, mix and match them in a certain way to optimize the upside. If you're looking to just get access to that, as soon as I place it, that's what you're going to want to be checking out, the Patreon. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your prize picks. And we'll be player props tonight. And we will see you in the next one.